Hey everybody and welcome to another video. This one's going to be a couple of tricks to speed up your render times. Before we get started, subscribe, it's always appreciated. Let me know how many people want to watch my content. If you've got anything that you want to see, just drop it in the comments below and I will do what I can. So without further ado, let's jump right on into it. So the first trick that we're going to do is optimizing the scene by hiding objects that are in it. So if we quickly load a scene, here we are. So we've got quite a lot going on in this scene. We're looking through this camera. We've got two characters and a whole load of billboards in it, but we've also got a number of tables. Now through the shot that we are looking at through this camera, there's a number of tables that can't actually be seen. So the most sensible thing to do in this case is to actually hide those from view. Now, there's multiple ways you can do this. The way that I would suggest that you start trying it out is to, all my tables are listed here, they're node instances, is to select them one by one in the list. If you can't see the highlight for that, for that object, making sure that you've got the move tool selected so that you'll actually get a widget. You can then switch it off. If you don't see a difference in the scene, you know that it's not in the view of the camera, so we can move on to the next one. Still not seeing a widget, turning it off. Turn it off and on a couple of times. As you can see, no change in the shot. Same with this one. We'll turn that off. Next one now, we can see a widget here which tells me it's probably this table. So if I turn it off, so clearly we don't want to switch off that one. Moving on to the next one, again the same, again the same, again the same. And you can do that for pretty much every object in your scene, which saves on memory, it saves on the work that your computer has to do, speeds up your render times, and makes life generally awesome. The next tip kind of works in tandem with that, in that if you have characters that aren't in the scene, or perhaps you have characters that are in the scene that you don't want in the scene, you can't do that because the clothes and the hair and all of the items that are attached to that character will remain in view. Now there's a way around that which I'm about to show you, and this is a very quick tip, but it's really helpful. Select the character. We're going to come up to the top here and we're going to look at this empty box where it says create a new group. We're going to smash that. Now we've got a character called Rachel, so I'm going to call it Rachel group. You can't call it just Rachel because uh, Dad Studio will not let you. So now we've got that. The character is contained within the group. And if I turn the visibility on that off, all of the character's items disappear with it as well. The only thing you'll want to remember is that in some cases, if you're copy and pasting positional in, uh, information, you'll need to unparent the character, do the moving and things that you need to get done, and then put it back into the group, just in case there's any coordinate problems or anything like that. And the last tip that I want to talk about in this video is minimizing the number of light sources that are in your scene. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate this one because it would be a very long-winded process. I'm simply going to say that the more light sources that there are in your scene, the longer it takes to render because the more calculations that your graphics card or that your CPU is going to have to do, every light source has beams of light that come out of it. And those beams of light bounce off every surface in the scene. And then after a certain number of bounces, obviously that's produces the final image. Now, the more light sources you have, obviously the more calculations that you have to do. So if you've got light sources in your image that aren't affecting what you're actually seeing, for example, if you had a separate little kitchen area in this restaurant, or if you had a bathroom in this restaurant and there were lights in there, turn them off, get them out of the scene, stop iRay from having to calculate the light for things that aren't being affected in the scene. I hope you found those tips useful. Give me a note in the comments below if you've got any more suggestions for things you want to see me do. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.